Hi there, Homestead, and welcome to our tutorial videos. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to add and edit a button in your Website Builder site. To get started, log into your Homestead account if you haven't already, and then navigate to the Websites Manager tab. Make sure if you have multiple sites that the site you are wanting to edit is selected and click Edit Site. This will bring you into Website Builder. Once the editor loads, you'll see on the left panel, it'll say Elements. If you click Elements, the first option is going to be Button since it is alphabetically ordered. There are six options when it comes to buttons. Functionality wise, they are all identical. The only difference is style. Website Builder has set six different styles that you can choose from. The first one is a simple button, and it's just basically a square that you can add text into. The gradient button is a simple button. It only has the difference of the background color being a gradient of one color to another instead of a solid background. The round button is the simple button with rounded edges. The icon button is the same functionality as the simple button, it just is an icon instead of a square. And you can choose different icons. For example, a phone if you wanted to have a button where people can click to call you. The icon and text button is an icon that you can add text to just like the simple button. And then the text button is just plain text with no border or background. Since they are all the same functionality wise, I'm just going to show the simple button. If you click on it, it'll attach itself to your mouse and then you can click to place it on your website. Now, the reason we add a button to a website is to drive a site visitor to click that button to perform a certain action. It could be a call now button for them to contact you, a learn more to go to an article, or a button that'll direct them to another page. If you click attach link, you'll see those options where you can go to another page on your current website. The URL option, which will allow you to link to another page on a third party website. There, of course, is the email on the phone option, which will allow you to link to an email address or a phone number for them to be able to contact a specific address or number. And document. Now, for document, you can add many different types of documents, including PDFs, MP4s, docs, Excel sheets. Just keep in mind that this will not open the document in the browser, but it'll actually download the document to the site visitor's computer once they click it. For the website page or the URL option, you can choose to have it open up in a new tab. If you don't have this clicked, it'll simply open up that page and redirect them in the current tab that they're in. Once you've made those selections, go ahead and click OK. If you want to change the text that appears in the button, make sure the element is selected and double click, and this will bring you into editing the text. You can delete the text in there and put the text that you want to display, like call now or learn more. If you click the button and go into more and advanced, you'll be able to click on change design and you'll be able to scroll through actually a ton of options for button designs that Website Builder has already put together for you. Make sure to roll your mouse over the button to see what happens. There are certain actions that happen for some of the buttons, as you can see. So find the one that works best for you, definitely. And you can choose between a simple button, an icon button, or icon and text buttons. So once you find the one that works best for your website, you know, click on that and click apply. And then if you go back into the more and advanced settings, you can click the style options and customize it even further. You can change the background, border and text color, change the text font and size and add different styles that are available. And I highly recommend just sort of playing around with these sliders to see what that looks like so you can figure out what looks best to you. Another thing I want to point out is that you can change the rollover and the pressed settings for the buttons from this menu as well. And those are the features that you saw in the change design that when you roll your mouse over a button, it'll do some sort of action. 
Now, if you click rollover, all of the options that are available for normal style is available here. So you can change the background color. You can increase the text size, stuff like that. And then if you click apply, you'll be able to preview it. And when you roll over the button, the text gets bigger and the background changes to red. So you can also do the same for the pressed state of the button if you want the background to change to a lighter red and you click preview, then when you click on the button, it'll change to that color. Those are the most important options for the button. One other thing I want to point out is if you don't want any style to change on this during any state, whether it's rolled over or pressed, you can turn off the toggle that says show hover effects and that'll take care of that for you. So now you know how to add and edit a button on your website builder site.